Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm over here at the Legacy Museum in Montgomery, Alabama, and uh, it's closed, unfortunately. So, uh, let there be a lesson when you make plans, when you're going traveling, uh, make sure things are open. I should have known because in New York, museums often closed on Monday as well. But they do have this um, memorial garden here, and I kind of wanted to share that with y'all and just, just read the plaques to you. And then uh, just share the feelings and emotions that's here. I'm going to start with right here in this memory garden. Despite the brutality of slavery, enslaved black people developed highly refined skills as carpenters, blacksmiths, brick masons, wheelwrights, engineers, and a range of other crafts. In the late 1850s, enslaved people created bricks to build the Montgomery Theater, which opened downtown in 1860. The remarkable skill of these enslaved masons is evident in bricks that have endured for over 160 years. The bricks in this wall were made by enslaved black people in Montgomery who endured the humiliation of bondage with strength and skill that we can touch today. So that was the first emotion, is that these bricks right here, I'm touching, made by some of my enslaved ancestors. Hey, let me just tell you, man, if... When you could feel emotion, uh, maybe it wasn't, maybe I just got to come back to go inside. Because it was a lot. Just out. Yeah, let me take you through this one right here, man. This is the memorial to lynching. Ugh. I'll read this with you. Following the Civil War in 1865, enslaved black people gained freedom and rights of citizenship under the amended United States Constitution. But the constitutional rights enacted by Congress did nothing to address the myth of racial hierarchy that has sustained slavery for over two centuries and a brutal backlash opposing emancipation erupted. Racial violence and lynchings of black people raised throughout Reconstruction as white mobs determined to maintain white supremacy attacked and killed black people for leaving plantations, asserting legal rights, voting or running for office, or for no reason at all. In dozens of communities, white mobs targeted black people in mass lynchings that left dozens or even hundreds of black people dead, and countless more wounded, displaced, and traumatized. Thousands of black people were lynched during this era of widespread racial terror and violence. As historian Leon F. Litwick had written, how many black men or w and women were beaten, flogged, and mutilated, murdered in the first years of emancipation will never be known. But EJI has now compiled documentation of over 2,000 racial terror lynchings between 1865 and 1876. This memorial honors the thousands of black people lynched in the years immediately following emancipation, many whose names will never be known. Multiple mass lynchings of black people in communities across the region are also acknowledged here. Finally, this fountain presents the names of 500 lynching victims who represent the thousands killed between 1865 in 1876 we honor all who have suffered and died so um let me just do a quick math real quick i mean i am a math teacher so i see 1865 to 1876 so that's about 11 years 365 days in a year so 10 years is 3650 add one more year we're we'll right about 4,000 days he said 2,000 racial terror lynchings in 4,000 days so we're talking about every other freaking day every other day a black person was lynched for 11 years this is after slavery was ended yeah. this was tough walking around this but let me uh, let me share so this reads, it is impossible to give the number of Negroes that have been killed. There's a great many missing that have not been heard from. The freed people have had all their arms taken away from them, and they are in the most deplorable condition of any people on earth. All that were living in the country and county by themselves have been robbed of everything, of the least value, even taking the underdressing of free women, their bedclothes, in a word, everything of the smallest value and then driven from their homes into the woods. 
is the most sickening sight I've ever witnessed to see. That was from the Freedmen's Bureau Correspondence. Let me stop right there for a second. Let me sit before I show you the rest. Yo, I don't want to hear no more crap. I mean, love to all the immigrants. I'm not trying to... I know it's dangerous to play the game of who had it worse. Because so, there's a lot of suffering from people here. But I don't want to hear this crap. Especially from European immigrants come here where, oh, my ancestors, my grandfather came with only the clothes on his back. Yeah, well, guess what? Clothes on your back, you were still doing better. With just that, black people. They were taking the undergarments of women, their bedclothes, chasing them naked into the woods. That's, that's what they did. You're free, all right? It's, it is sickening. I get why black people don't want to watch movies about lynching or uh, the fight segregation and you do need balance you do need balance i'm all for black heroes and you know black fantasy and black sci-fi afrofuturism but man we gotta we can't run because our children won't understand man they won't appreciate this man this is freaking ridiculous documented mass lynchings i like to consider myself you know, a, a well-read, learned person. I mean, I, I could do better. But this... The month, and, and I'm confused. So I, I got to look some of this stuff up myself. Because some of this, they give a year, right? Memphis, Tennessee, 1865. 20 people lynched. But then in other times, they just give the month. And I'm like, is that how many people were lynched that month? Like, in, in Vicksburg, Mississippi... December 1874, is that 50 black people lynched in the month of December 1874? I, I gotta, I gotta do some more research. So we have this statue here. You know, this was tough, man. These are the names of all the people. Like I said, I... It's frustrating. I get it, man. I'm never one to try to make excuses or this and that. I mean, this country definitely owes us something. I want to hear that crap. Reparations, whatever it is. Maybe it's not a check in hand, but it's got to be some free education or clear the debt, free health care, free mental health care for the damage done for hundreds of freaking years. It kills me, man. Other people have a Holocaust or something for 10 years, 12 years. It's like never forget. Black people suffer slavery, segregation, abuse for 200, 300 years. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. Get over it. And stop playing with my people. <sighs> this one, right? So it ends with this. May we never forget all those who suffered and died because they asserted their basic human right to be free. And, um... Uh, I'm just gonna walk back. Yeah, we, we, we need to tell our children. I gotta show this to my daughters. I gotta bring them back here. They gotta they gotta touch the water. Gotta see this. I gotta tell you, man, listening to this water and seeing it in an image hit me while I was sitting down of just blood. I was just hearing the sound of blood. Just my ass is just pouring. Like a horror movie, just just the blood pouring of those who suffered. That's why, man. Look, let me just sit back down. Yo, I get it. My people, you want to run away, you want to think everything is all good, and you know, you feel some shame. Who wants that image? of their ancestors being stripped down naked, even their undergarments taken from them and chased into the woods. Who wants to live with that vision? But uh, I'm proud to be black. I ain't gonna run from it. It's one of my greatest strength that made me who I am today. I was born black, right there in Harlem, USA. I lived my life as a black man. I'm gonna die a black man. I wouldn't have it any other way.